I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily, Monday through Friday, to do these love readings for you. Any and all signs, all of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay, let's get into this. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. All right, we're going to do a collective reading here for October. See what message comes out. I'm going to be using the Island Time Wellness for you. And so you're starting with healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, and being happier, which is great. And what else is coming up for you here? Let's see. You have coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted friendship. It looks like perhaps you're going to be spending some time with someone. Um, this feels good. This is like, I feel like having like some coffee, talking to someone. Um, this feels like friendship. It looks like meeting some friends or a friend, having a healthy meal or a healthy lunch. Um... Kind of like being happy getting into the groove being with your soul tribe being with a friend like your people or a person that you gel with in october this is like really good vibes here um kind of like self-care self-love you know that feeling when you kind of like you go somewhere with someone that you get each other you feel good with each other this is like really like a, it's an intimate moment with a friend. It feels like friendship. And maybe having a lot of these moments as well in October. And you also have Cupid's Arrow. Having faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting. So, wow, this is super awesome. So this is kind of like a little romantic as well. So I do feel like you're going to be connecting with someone in October. Um, where this is like friendship maybe it's a date for some of you it could be like you're connecting with someone on a date um this it, and so you both might have like you might be both health conscious where you um are into self-care self-love you're both like you eat healthy you do healthy things that kind of thing you take care of your your soul your physical selves too i mean this is pretty cool this feels like like Cupid's arrows, like you're sitting there and you're having coffee or you're having tea or you're, you know, you're, you maybe you're doing a little matcha tea or something. And I don't know, like Cupid's arrows strikes. So it kind of feels nice. You might not expect this. Um, I feel like it's kind of like I'm getting this vibe of like, yeah, okay, well, we'll go have coffee. I'll meet you here and get to know you. That kind of thing feels kind of refreshing. I'm getting like this fresh freshness these freshness vibes and it feels like you meet and then all of a sudden there's this cupid's arrow kind of thing like boing like oh wow um i'm just seeing heart bubbles <laughs> all around okay so kind of cool pretty cool congratulations whoever's listening to this for the collective this is like kind of like meeting someone, meeting the one or meeting someone. Um, you, I feel like you might be a little hesitant, hesitant, I'm hearing, to actually meet someone or to accept an offer or an invitation for a date um, or maybe just to go. Maybe there's a little awkwardness or a little nervousness at first for, you know, whatever the reason. But it looks like you go. I feel like you're going to be kind of surprised. Yeah, like it's a little unexpected. Hmm, like, hmm. I don't think you, ex I don't think, like I don't get this vibe that you you go and you expect to actually meet someone that you think is going to turn into something. Maybe you don't, or maybe you didn't feel like you're going to actually meet someone again, or that you're going to fall in love again, or that you're going to feel something for someone again, but it looks like, 
it's going that way. <clears throat> so if you get an invite, it looks like the message here is to take it. Or if you're thinking of asking someone out, the message here is to go for it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, look at you. You're kind of like, oh, I don't know. But this is also a card of a surprise, too, the Four of Cups, you know. But at first, it's like a little being a little indifferent, a little apathetic. Oh, I don't know. I'm not so sure. But I feel like if you do it, yeah, you're going to be a little bit surprised. Um, hmm. I do kind of feel like you might... Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to, but I feel like you might f at first just be like, you know, they're giving me this image, like you sit down at the table, like if you go sit and have coffee with someone, you sit down at the table and it's kind of drab, like, you're, you know, you know, like you're, you're sitting down at the desk at school, you know, like you got to take out your homework that you did last night, you could take your papers, you, you know, like, look at his face, like he's sitting at school. And you're just kind of like, oh, here we go. I got to go through the motions of going through another date. You know, yeah, let me fill out my resume here. If you, you know, not saying that it's a drab kind of thing because it is exciting to meet other people, but there's something about your energy. I just kind of feel like you just seem like you just don't want to go through the process of. You don't, like you're hesitating. You don't feel like you're all that enthused. There's, you know, for some of you, it's a small seed of like, eh. Some of you just might want to just be on your own, you know, or you just might, maybe you're just not in the mood. You, or you just kind of maybe don't feel well. Some of you might have other things that you have to do, you know, other um, priorities or some work that you have to do, which, you know, that kind of thing. Um, because this, this, I mean, both of these people here kind of look a little bored, like, meh, don't really, meh, you know, I don't know, I just get this energy, like, you're gonna kind of miss out, if you don't, look at all that stuff, like, oh, gosh, okay, that's Scorpio energy, ten of wands, like, <laughs> what's going on with you? Uh, I don't know what's going on with you. Listen, the way I feel like here is it's going to be a missed opportunity if you don't do it. That's what I feel. Like you're never going to know. Like you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. You know what I mean? I really feel, okay, for some of you, this is a reconciliation for some of you, this is like hooking up with someone from your past. Yes, this is an invite for, from someone from your past. Okay, like when you were kids or when you were a young adult, whichever. When you, someone from your childhood or someone that you knew from way back when. Now, it doesn't for some of you, it doesn't have to be romantic. It just could be seeing someone from way back when when you just might be like, no, nah, I really just don't feel like it, you know. Um, but I don't know, there's something here that's really going to, they're giving me the phrase, tickle your fancy. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, because I never use that phrase. But they just said, tickle your fancy. Something's going to give you a little, a little sparkle um, in your drab. I feel like you're kind of drab. You're feeling kind of, you, you need a little, I don't know, you need a little sparkle. You're, you're, there's a little dull, little dullness or something happening. You need a little boost, I'm hearing. So for some of you, yes, it, it may be reconnecting with a sibling as well, um, or a sibling asking you to go do something. And for others, it is a reconnection with like a past, a past person. Some of you might be thinking about wanting to reconnect with a past person, but just kind of like not sure if you want to reach out, you know, just kind of like, oh, it's going to be the same thing again. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, you know, people are in the past for a reason, but that's not always the case. Um, uh, for some of you, it might just be maybe the romantic thing a past romantic relationship 
didn't work out, but maybe it's better to just be friends. Maybe that's the healthier option. And for some of you, there might be a spark of um, romance that kicks up again and kind of gives you like a little bit of, um, like, um, like I was saying, that sparkle kind of happens again for some of you. Yeah, and, and vice versa. So, okay, you've got the Page of Swords. So, yeah, so I kind of feel like if you accept or initiate some type of invitation here curiosity is going to peak big time look at this want to know more i want to know more i want to know more absolutely um because what starts off as this indifference and apathy turns into oh no tell me more oh no tell me more curiosity yeah that's page of swords Yes, tell me, tell me more, tell me more. And the confidence perks up. And this, this, with this strength, this courage to explore and to pry and to ask more questions. And look at that, the five of cups. That freedom from that sadness or that grief or that drab feeling, that feeling of like, um, hmm, <clears throat> I don't know, melancholy, that, that's what that indifference, that apathy, that drab feeling I was talking about kind of just whisks away. That's what the that's what the fool energy is. This fool card is all about, look at all the air, you know? This is like taking flight. This is like the adventure begins. This is freedom. And that, that melancholy feeling is like a heavy, wet blanket. That's gone. That's removed. That's dried, like in the dryer. It's all air. It's it's just the freedom. It's the wind in your hair. The the wind the wind beneath my wings. It's beautiful. It's like it's like feeling like you can fly again. You know, I believe I can fly. <laughs> it's good. So there's something here about this connection, about going and accepting or initiating this invitation this meeting this connecting with this person could be a leo could be a scorpio could be an aquarius this connecting with this person has a freeing effect so whatever you're feeling this drab this apathy this feeling of uh, this lowly feeling Wherever it's coming from, if it's connected to this person, or if it's just an overall general feeling that's coming from somewhere else, and this is something new, um, some of you need to just reconnect with someone from your past to kind of take that heavy wet blanket off you in some way. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how, but in some way. And others of you need to um, get a refresher or freshen things up with maybe a new distraction or something along those lines with someone new, okay? Either way, um, you gotta do something because you can't be under this heavy, wet blanket. Like, you gotta shake it off. Little Mariah Carey, shake it off, like seriously. Because that dull, drab, that's like a low-level depression or this low-level, like, you know, the colors... The blue sky is kind of um, a drab blue. The green is kind of like, the, the bright green trees are kind of like a, I don't know, like an army green. You need to see some fluorescent colors. You know, you need to see some like neons <laughs> to brighten things up. I feel like, you, I don't know if you're going through something or whatever is happening. You need like, you need to get the Skittles of the rainbow. Like that's what you need, the rainbow Skittles. Yeah, seriously. And that's either connecting with some other people or another person or doing whatever it is that you need to do or reconnecting with someone maybe um, <clears throat> or allowing yourself to reconnect with someone that you miss or having a conversation over coffee and having some healthy conversation or something, definitely. So, and I see that, that happening. Yeah, you look like you're kind of protecting yourself here. You're blocking for sure. That four of pentacles, your your look at you. Look how like that blocking energy. Like not letting anybody in, protecting your heart, staying very firm, grounded, not letting anyone in the house. No, you can't come in. You can't come into my heart, you can't come into my house. 
No, I'm not letting anybody in. Yeah, you're definitely in protective mode. So you're either protecting yourself. You might be protecting yourself from someone who's very blunt. Yeah, it looks like. Look at the Queen of Swords. So that's um, uh, masculine or feminine energy. That's uh, air, air energy. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, Queen of Swords can be pretty sharp around the edges. Um, well, it's just very truth-telling, very honest. Um, at times can be a bit prickly. Um, not necessarily mean. It's a shame because sometimes the Queen of Swords can get a bad rap. But um, she's just very truthful, you know. And um, you could be protecting yourself from um, some things you're not ready to hear, you know. Um, protecting your heart, you know. The Queen of Swords is always going to tell you the truth. She will. She will. That's and and it's not and she's not a bad person for that because you can always count on her to be honest. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't I mean people always say, "Hey, you know, tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Just be honest." But then when people get the truth, they get pissed off about it. You know? <laughs> I think it might have more to do with the delivery than actually the truth. Um and I know that people don't want to be lied to. I know that's for sure. So I sometimes think that um, the Queen of Swords gets a bad rap because of maybe her delivery. Um, because she is very blunt, you know. And I think maybe uh, if you were dealing with someone <clears throat> who was giving you some truth but wasn't kind of soft around the edges in, the, in her delivery, it might have... Um, might have... Um, might have been a little too razor sharp. sharp. But... Was she wrong? He or she? Were they wrong? Well, that's up to you to judge. But maybe you're recovering from that or you're protecting yourself from that. I don't know if that has anything to do with this reading here. This might be a separate thing. But I do see you being very protective. But you might have closed yourself off from a person, place, or a thing of that type of energy. And maybe kind of hermitized yourself a little bit from people like that you know, um, and that you might have internalized <clears throat> your pain um, instead of becoming angry and acting out in your anger, um, like, I don't know, punching the wall or a pillow, you might have internalized your anger, which then turns into depression because it has to go somewhere. Energy has to go somewhere. So if you're not allowing that energy to come out which is like, I don't know, go for a run. If you're not expressing the energy, not towards people, but outwardly, and you hold it in, it, it turns, it goes inward, and it, the energy goes towards you. And it turns into depression if it just hovers, right? So you might, that, that might have something to do with that low-level depression, right? Something, you know, this, this could be a friend, this could be a lover, this could be a sister, a brother, this could be a, your kid, this could be a, a family member, <clears throat> a boss, co-worker, someone from your past, you know, anything. There's, there's something that hit you that you, you know, shielded yourself big time. And um, maybe it's this past person. It could have been. And there might be some time for some apologies. There might be somebody here reaching out to you. This invite wants to apologize and try to make it up to you and try to get to a healthier place. You might not be ready. You might be very hesitant to accept that. But it might be very releasing for you. It might help to release a lot of whatever you're holding in here. Um, but it's ultimately up to you, of course. You have to do what feels best for you at your pace and when you're ready. I'll get a couple of more cards and see what else comes up here for you for October. Yeah, look, you've got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So they're pretty significant, that air energy. Now look, there's one other thing I have to say. And I'm just going to put it right out there. You and this other person, and I don't know who you are that I'm talking to, but you and this other person are a match. You're both very much the same. Very much the, the, you look at that the king and the queen of swords you two you and this person however you're connected 
That's why you're drawn to each other, whether in friendship, whether you're siblings, you're very you're cut from the same cloth, you and this person. Okay? That's why you are attracted to each other. That's why you are in the future are drawn to each other, in the past drawn to each other, because you're very much the same. And you guys, what I feel is you guys have been refining each other. <laughs> That's what the difficulty has been. You've been the challenges, they're telling me, that you both have experienced either through growing up as siblings or father-son, mother-daughter relationship, siblings, friendship, uh, romantic partner, work co-workers, friends, whatever. You have been together because you were put in together to refine one another. Greatest lesson of all. <laughs> when you have those long-term relationships and you argue and you go back and forth and you disagree and sometimes the claws come out and sometimes they just don't talk to each other. Everybody deals with their issues differently. It's, it's when we don't give up on the relationship even though we go into the separate rooms. It's because we got to take that time to think because we humble each other, right? But you two are almost exactly the same. You both have your guard up. You both keep your guard up. You're both honest. You're both truthful. Yes, you're both very honest. You're both very truthful. You both, you mirror each other. <laughs> this is something. This is, this is something. So if this is, you know, someone that, like I said, it seems like a couple of, if this is someone that's, like I said, a, a, someone that you've known, that you reconnect with, this is your message. If this is someone new who's coming in that there's a childlike connection or you meet through children or kids or something like that that you're hesitant about doing, um, it's the same type of mirroring energy. You're, you're, you're going to meet yourself or you have already met yourself. That's what I feel like is happening. If you happen to have any Virgo placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in your chart, you can go over to my other channel, House of Virgo. I did a reading yesterday. It feels similar in some ways to this. Um, go over and check that out yesterday. I do daily readings over there as well. <clears throat> All right, one more card here. Yeah, look at that. Another six. Sixes are all about reciprocal energy. And the reciprocal energy is the infinity. What comes around goes around. The things that you have in common is you are both very guarded, both very protective, maybe a bit possessive, both very honest and truthful, but extremely generous generous with others and generous with each other and charitable and caring and love children or have children definitely a lot of children energy playing out here look at this two kids here two kids here okay let me see what other messages you have here all right there's a new passionate start coming in Definitely happening in October for you guys. Healthy choices, Cupid's arrows, and a love offer. Wow. I love it. Beautiful. October looks fantastic for love, especially. And look, family celebrations, wedding, engagement party. Now we're going into the holiday season, so. A lot of this energy is going to start playing out here for everybody, um, for the collective especially. Um, a lot of people connecting and reconnecting during the holidays. So um, there might be some connecting during the holidays. There might be some weddings or engagement parties, a lot of parties connecting. Um, so I definitely feel if you, like I said in the beginning, if you get some kind of invitation to go somewhere or you are thinking of initiating some type of connection with someone it looks favorable to you in either side or in either direction go for it go for it all right i'll see you tomorrow take care one.
No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the peace